back showcasing another one, y'all. Johnny Knox. Take a look. Johnny Knox is the receiver. Looking at his speed, which is a 94, right? All right. And then I seen this mismatch, and I took advantage of it. One second. Just bear with me. Okay. And then we're looking at Charles Woodson. His speed is an 85. All right. This game is tough. If y'all see the score, it's 13 up. I just scored the touchdown. That last play I showed y'all when the dude um <clears throat> fumbled the ball, I came right back through interception. They made the touchdown off. It's crazy. But uh, let's go to the answer replay. We're going to take a look at the matchup here. Johnny Knox against Charles Woodson. Get close. Hike the ball. They tussling, they tussling. I just toss it up there. Johnny Knox, as you see, his speed is much faster than Charles Woodson, and he gets him for the touchdown. Now let's look at this from the side view so y'all can see how that minimum threshold thing I was telling y'all to keep it zero. This is why you want to keep it at zero so you can exploit matchups. You know, he, he bumped him at the line. Now, if, when he bumped him at the line, if uh, they had to put some pressure on my quarterback, which they did have to pressure on my quarterback, then this wouldn't have happened. So, he's sprinting past him. He actually burning that dude. You see this? And when he caught the ball, which just slows him down. Charles Wilson actually was able to catch up, but got back on his speed. Got back on his speed. Ain't nobody catching him. See that? That threshold. That's why you want to take the threshold off. 